great time to visit the bay. There's always plenty to see and do. This week we start the show at Mount Monganui and meander right into Tauranga City. The Atrium Holiday Apartments are located right in the heart of Mount Monganui. They're absolutely awesome. I'd love to stay here. This certainly is a lovely apartment. Tell us what your range of apartments include. We've got three different types of apartments. We've got a single bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartments, and a three bedroom penthouse apartment, which has got the most amazing views over the main Mount Monganui beach. They're all fully furnished and self-contained, right down to even having a washing machine and a dryer there, so it's great for families. You can just bowl up here, park the car, throw away car keys and from there on you can walk anywhere in the mount. What facilities are around the atrium? We've got the most fantastic location, we've got the uh, natural saltwater hot pools at the base of the mount. You can also walk around Maui or go up to the top if you feel so inclined. We've got surfing at the main beach here and we've also got windsurfing. And there's plenty of dining in the area isn't there? Fantastic. We've got uh, multicultural restaurants downtown and uh, honestly, they're always busy. People certainly, we can recommend all of them to go and eat at um, top class, we feel. And the facilities that are right within the atrium themselves, tell us about those. The facilities here are fantastic for families um, and also corporates. They often stay here and, and enjoy using the gym and the sauna. We have a um, heated spa pool downstairs there, and from that we also have an in-ground pool. I hear that we are actually sitting in the room of the apartment of someone who kind of lives here. What, does, what do your residents actually say about the place? He loves it. He's actually a farmer, and he lives here for several months of the year, and then obviously goes back to his farm when needed. So he loves the um, facilities that we provide, and also the top location which we have. Okay, so we're here in the middle of winter. Is it a good place to come in winter as well as summer? Oh, it's a great winter escape. We have a lot of families come here in the winter time. Um, and not only have we got the facilities here, but we've also got Baywave down at Bay Fair. Great shopping facility down there. How can we find out more? Well, you can certainly give us a call at any time. You can pop in and say hello and also visit our website. We'd love to hear from you. fun or strict competition, the Rock House is the place to climb. So Sue, what is the Rock House all about? It's all about trying indoor rock climbing, which is great for team building and confidence and trust. It's a really good thing to do, for, especially for kids. It's catered for all age groups, from really tiny kids to full grown adults and even older people come and try it. And it's really good fun. So tell us about the two spaces that you have here at the Rock House. Well we've got the rock climbing in the Rock House and we have the Manic Room which is a parkour and tricking centre. Which is, most people just use it as a fun space but it is a dedicated training facility for free running. fun for all the kids, they absolutely love it. It's aimed at teenagers mainly, but we have all age groups through there, so. And it's packed today, isn't it? It is, yes. <laughs> it is very popular. It's not always just 
just about having fun. Some people actually compete with rock climbing. Tell us about that. Yes, we've had already held the regional um, climbing competition here. We do have the national series coming up this weekend. So that will be really cool because there's all the top climbers coming. So it's really good to watch. It's worth coming down just to spectate, if nothing else, even if you don't participate. So. The Rock House has produced some top climbers as well. Who are they? Well, they've got a fantastic coach, Ken. He is the New Zealand coach, and he's brought them on. We've got Wiz and Peanut and Isaac and Mel and Ermac who all climb here. And a lot of those guys have been to Worlds, not just once, two or three times, some of them. They are really good climbers, and a lot of them are actually going over to Australia for some climbing this week, so they won't be here for nationals, unfortunately, but a lot of them will be, so it's good. How can we find out more? You need to look on the website or give us a ring or pop in and see us. We even have Facebook pages for the Rock House and the Manic Room. And just come on down and have a look. If you're looking for a quality makeup range, then John's Photo Pharmacy is sure to have it. Let's check out Bella V. Great Amber, wonderful to meet you. First up, are you wearing Bella V? I sure am. I love the product. It gives a nice radiant glow to the skin and it's so easy to wear every day. So what products does Bella V put out and what are they for? So with Bella V it's quite a wide array of cosmetics. They start with the foundations, they've got concealers, but the foundation is probably the number one seller. Um, it gives a really nice radiant glow to the skin, it gives full coverage, but then it also gives a very natural look to the skin. Many of us are struggling to go from liquid foundation to mineral powder foundation. Tell us why Bella V is a great mineral powder foundation. Yeah, people can be a little bit hesitant about going from a liquid to a powder. They don't think they're going to get the coverage that they're after and they think it's going to be quite a powdery finish. But with Bella V, um, as you wear the product, as your natural oils penetrate out of the skin, the product looks ten times better and it is going to give you a full coverage like a liquid does. So why does it work so well? So with Bella because it's a pure mineral, so it's pure colour pigment, so it's picking up the foundation very fast. There's no talc or fillers in the product, so it's not a big powdery mess when you put it on the skin, so that's how it's achieving that coverage. Are we actually doing something good for our skin when we use Bella V? We definitely are. We're allowing the skin to breathe, so it's great for people with every type of skin conditions, sensitivities, acne, um, great for every age group. They do a lot of other products, they've got lipsticks, eyeliners, heaps of different other products in the ranges. Um, the eyeshadows are quite versatile, you can use them as liquid eyeliners as well if you incorporate a little bit of water with them. Um, their lipsticks are beautiful, they're very, very moisturising and then they also have their lip glosses and lip creams. So they have an active ingredient called mica in them which gives that reflective look to the product. And is that good for us? Definitely. Um, it's always good to have a little bit of a glow on that eye area. It's always good to sparkle. There's also an illuminator. I, can, I think I can see that you're wearing that. Is yeah, it? definitely. So you put that just up on the top of the cheekbone around the eye area and that's, Melissa calls it her youth in a pot. So yeah, it's a really, really great product. Because it's 
a pure mineral, it's pure colour pigment, so you're going to get a lot of benefits from the product and it's going to last a long time because a little bit goes a long way. How does Bella V deal with all the different skin types and the requirements that come with that? Bella V have um, a wide array of the foundation colours, so they've got one to suit every different skin type, so it's just sitting the customer down and colour matching them to what they what their needs are. So it's just talking to the customer and getting an idea of what they're after and what kind of colours they like and what they want to wear. How can we find out more? Um, Bella V have a really great website that you can go on but you can also come in store and have a consultation with myself. Strand at India today in, in Tauranga CBD. I can smell the spices, they're calling me in, and I'm going in to get something yummy to warm me up. So tell us about India today. What's it all about and why did you start it? They always had a passion to working with the people and especially in the hospitality because you meet different people all the time and you get all the culture, come to the restaurant and dining and you get a different experience. And we choose the India Today name when someone say, oh, where are you going for dinner? And people say, oh, I'm going to India today. So it sounds like they are going to India. So you provide an authentic Indian experience here, don't you? Yeah, that's what we try to do, sort of, we bring all the furniture from India and we make it traditionally. When people walk through the door, so they feel like they're in India for the night. Uh, we got all the mixture of the food, like northern and southern Indian, and mainly it's uh, from the northern. And we bring all the fresh spices, and whoever dine in here once, and they always keep coming back again. So what response are you getting from the diners? Well, people love it here when they come to their restaurant. And our staff is very friendly with them, and they always try to place them. And whoever came here, we don't have even a single person disappointed walk out the door. You want them to have a great experience? Yeah, great experience. And when they come to the restaurant, so they have, have a proper traditional experience. If they go to India, so they won't be surprised like how they get treated in India. We try to make everything fresh and from scratch. And we make our own sauces and stuff. It's not a, like you can get plenty of sauce in the supermarket. And um, the biggest problem in New Zealand when people go for dining in an Indian restaurant, and if they are a group of four or five people, when they order a few di different things, and when this comes to the table, it all looks the same, it all tastes the same, and it's mainly like uh, you're getting your food from supermarket and do it at home. And that would be sort of trying to focus to make it authentic Indian, so people have a real flavor. A lot of people say our food is a bit spicier than the others because we don't use too much cream and butter or tomato puree in everything. Now whatever you have to use, you have to. But we always try to keep it very healthy as well. But people come here because they want the Indian experience, don't they? Yes, and we get a lot of people from the UK as well. And they are big fans of the curry because that's their national dish. And especially these people, they love it. They say, oh, we haven't found that authentic Indian food in New Zealand. We've been here that many years. Some people say we've been here about 10 years. And they say, oh, that's the first time we had experience authentic Indian food here. Normally, the butter chicken is the most popular. But uh, in our menu, the butter chicken is only about 20%. And our chef special is beautiful. That's the beef dish. And that's really nice and spicy. And the chicken tikka masala and gel fraji, that's been very popular. And for the lamb, the lamb nawab is the best. Yeah, we got a large vegetarian menu. Because that's the good thing with the Indian food and you get plenty of choices with the vegetarian. Yeah, we do a lot, our most of the dishes are gluten-free anyway. And we also do the vegan meals as well, and the people don't eat dairy and... Which means that you can feed pretty much anybody. Yes, definitely.
Well, you can go to our uh, website, as indiatoday.co.nz, or you can just drive to this train and you won't miss it. It's very easy to find. I love merino. You know there's so many ways that you can wear merino. Let's go and find out some more. Margarita, great to be back here at I Love Merino. Tell me, how many ways can we wear merino? Well, merino can be worn as a trans-seasonal item. It can actually be, be worn during all seasons because it's all about layering. So merino can be worn as your first layers, like little camisoles um, and singlets, um, even long slips to wear under lighter, color, lighter dresses, which makes um, your wardrobe expand right across the seasons. So merino can be worn in many ways and men love to wear merino underneath their business shirts and so merino can be worn from your first base layer body layers right up to your fashion layers like your um, merino possum capes, there's fine merino and um, merino possum blends, all New Zealand made and um, they are very light and warm, so wonderful for everyday wear and particularly good for travel. Tell us about your most popular pieces. Well, especially this time of the year, everybody wants the little layers to secretly wear underneath their clothing and then they add the lovely colourful top layers like your lovely jackets, um, merino possum cardigans. And of course, as always, your lovely hat scarves and um, beautiful little gloves and accessories which add a very modern touch. So merino is, is really, has really come of age, particularly in New Zealand, and it's sought after worldwide in New Zealand. And um, it's for locals as well as visitors. So the New Zealand merino is, is really um, taking the world by storm, really. What's new in Merino, Margarita? There's a lot of new blends coming out in Merino. It's actually getting even finer and they've just introduced um, a lot of different blends using Merino, Possum and Silk. And the silk is extremely light and it's very luxurious. So Merino, Possum and Silk has really um, come of age and it's even lighter now. So um, one thing that's happening in the Merino world is it's becoming more modern and even more lightweight. So why is Merino such a good product for New Zealand winters? Well, New Zealand Merino is so fine and lightweight and New Zealanders just love to travel and they have a very active outdoor lifestyle and it is colder, so um, it enables them to have the lifestyle in lightweight wool and uh, they feel comfortable, warm, and it's uh, great for out outdoor activities as well as fashion wear. And right across the world. Exactly, because Kiwis love to travel in their own country as well as internationally, and Merino will take you right across all seasons wear. And where do you source your Merino from? New Zealand Merino is sourced, a lot comes from high country sheep stations in the South Island, and also there are North Island um, wool manufacturers as well. So the wool actually comes from New Zealand and all our manufacturers are based from the, actually from the bottom of the South Island to almost the top of the North Island. So we source our product right across New Zealand. You can find out more about um, Merino by visiting the store and we're happy to ask any questions regarding Merino and also if you do visit a website regarding Merino there's lots of information all about the qualities of Merino and Merino Possum 
Um, it's a very technical product. There's been um, a lot of um, knowledge put into the production of Merino and Merino Possum in New Zealand and um, the technology's been happening for many years and it's improving all the time and we can talk to you about the qualities of Merino, how great it is for your body, for temperature control and um, for um, comfortable wear. Um, you just can't beat wearing fine Merinos. Midweek Racing returns to the Tauranga Racecourse with an eight race program getting underway at 12 noon on the 18th of July. There's a chance to win dinner vouchers to some of the Bay's top restaurants. Admission is free and gates open around 10am. For more information check out the website track.co.nz. Make sure you meander on down to the Gretton Village School every third Saturday of the month and peruse the wares of the awesome car boot sale. The next one is on the 21st of July. It's for all ages. It's free. And to find out more, go to the website greatonvillage.co.nz. If you'd like to advertise your event on Destination Central, give us a call on 07 5030. Of course, remember to get your details in at least two weeks prior to your event. The Tauranga Midwinter Christmas Market is coming back, so why not experience a traditional cold Christmas the way millions of people around the world do? Wrap up warm in your winter clothes, wander through the magical markets shopping for special presents. Purchase your tickets from iTicket today for Saturday the 21st of July at the historic village on 17th Ave, Tauranga. And for more information, go to the website tauranga-midwinterchristmas.co.nz. Kiwi songstress Elizabeth Marvelly will sing Time's Most Beautiful Songs on her very special tour of Heartland, New Zealand. So if you're in the Bay, book your tickets for Monday the 16th of July at the Bay Court Community and Arts Centre. For more information, check out the website elizabethmarvelly.com. So get on over to the Bay and have some fun. If you'd like to feature your business on the show, call 07 And to find out more about TV Central, go to the website TV Central. Central.co.nz This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group.